I really didn't expect this day to come. It's just like one of those very, very special things that you keep fantasizing about and then it happens and you're like, oh my God, I don't know. Like, I'm, it's here, it's happening. This is lovely, this is lovely, but I think we need to get this work into a real gallery space. And we, and we need to sell this work. <laughs> we need to get your place. I'm gonna make that happen, honey. Thank you, I love that. I love the approach that Dee took with this event around making it a celebration of their past and um, almost giving thanks to the people who've been supporting them throughout the years. Literally, this work is not just here. It's, I literally went back into my archives from 2018 when I started photographing. Yeah. Because I just came back from a silent retreat. I call it a silent retreat, but it was more than that. And I feel like, you know, there's a lot of lessons that I learned from that time. And I felt like I needed to go back and actually see my work. Because I feel like every single time, like as a photographer, you continue making work, you continue making work, and you get better and better and better and better, right? But then you forget like the gems that you started with, you know? And what that means is like you're literally like losing the angle of like why you started because when you're starting you have this fire you have this rage you have this energy of like oh my I want to tell queer stories like I want to be you know like I push for queer joy representation and you know like all of our issues that we barely talk about D came to South Africa with nothing but their photog their camera and their dreams of being a photographer and now to see D in their own flat furnished buying food for 40 people, that's an accomplishment. This is me bringing myself to the table. I know many people here, You've maybe some of you don't know me, but some of you also have never seen my work. And I have had, oh! <laughs> yeah, Mami. Yeah! <laughs> okay, so this was not a prepared speech, but my mother, is 49 years old. She has never seen my work before. Wow. And she's always wondering, like, what do you do? I made 49 images today, prints for everyone, because it's a commemoration. And, um... Uh, I think even just for Dee's mom to see that as well, just to see... Um, you know, her her talent, her skill, and also the, the people that she surrounds herself with. You know, it's nice, you know, as a parent to kind of see um, Mdanako do important work and also just be held by a community that's, you know, so dear and so important um, to them. I, I, I walked away from that just feeling so good. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for loving her with her work. Thank you for taking care of her where I'm not alone. It's really interesting to meet Dee's mom because I've taken on that role of mothering in Dee's life, you know, over the last few years. I really appreciate everyone. We who have done each and everything to my people. Thank you so much. I love you. Love you. <laughs> to meet the woman who is the original caretaker is such a powerful thing. And that moment for me felt almost like the two women in Dee's life have met and we are both really proud of the work that Dee has done um, over the last few years. I don't know, I mean like, <sighs> that woman has gone through a lot, like a lot. If we talk about like childhood trauma, like she has a village, 
because she never received love. She was abandoned as a child, left in the house by her mother, and who went on to go and get married and have 13 other kids. And um, she never came back for her. And she went, you know, like stepmother vibes and she was immensely abused. And she deserves, she deserves. <sighs> My mom deserves everything and for her to be standing here supporting me and seeing my work it just made my heart dance and also her joining me when I'm like dancing and feeling so free and open and it meant the world to me for my mom to be present and finally seeing my work. <laughs>